So Forex trading with the Expert Slingshot on TradingView. This is US dollar, Japanese yen on the 30 seconds, so it's more of a scalping time frame. Uh, we've got a type one style at this point here, but just got in a little, little later to be honest with the market order there. I wasn't taking too much notice. Um, but again, this is scalping and it's only sort of uh, the position's 10,000 there. Um, did a little bit of profit right now, but the main thing is I wanted to um, start to record some of these. Now, yes, the profit target's down here at the moment. But the main thing is I want to start um, managing this with a trading stop as soon as it starts to print. Uh, sensibly, near this double bottom, I've put the take profit there. And again, I, I'm not a Forex trader. Uh, I'm a futures trader, so the lot size and everything like that is, um, you know, is not exactly what people would exactly trade but it's about the movement it's about the trade and that's what I want to record here so at this moment in time uh, we're in a little bit of profit uh, seems to be wanting to push down it's got to go through this 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 little pivot here um, but at the moment uh, we seem to be going steady what time is it in the US right now so 6 16 a.m. so nothing no major data coming out so what I'm gonna do is pause the video and just wait for some more movement and then come back and record some more so the slingshots just started to print uh, the trading stop here, but it's still above that uh, entry that I got because I, I took a, a market order. So what I'm going to do is wait for it to actually uh, penetrate that initial um, entry point for me and then adjust the stop to break even. So uh, in essence, give myself a risk free trade. Uh, we did pull back slightly. Uh, and form a new pullback zone with the slingshot, but it didn't give us a signal. So I didn't add to my um, position because it didn't give me a signal. Now with the um, the Slingshot Special Edition, we do in fact um, give access to the VWAP Predator um, for six months as well. So this is a major tool that will help us understand uh, how we can add to those positions. So if I just put that on right now, once it started, when it's finished calculating, um, you know, there there is no signals there right now. Let me just close that up. Um, but we can see the buy and the sells and everything like that. Let me just make sure we are good. Yeah, okay, so there's no buy and sell signals there right now. Trading stop almost coming through that initial entry now. Um, you've got to give it plenty of room. Now we're just getting through this previous pivot. Um, you know, a couple of candles closing below that is really good um, for, for this move. Just got to wait for the, the software to print that trading stop position below my entry. Uh, and then I'll be good to make this risk free. Uh, and then what I'm going to do then, once I'm risk free, I'm going to be um, more relaxed with this take profit. I'm going to manage it with the trading stop and not actually a profit, a target. So I'm going to put it way down at this pivot down here. Um, so we're just getting to that entry point right now. Um, really, really good. Again, it's 30 seconds. So, you know, we can, we can be um, there quite quick. So one thing with this type three cell here, the bias depth heat map, um, when we printed the signal, all six time frames were red. That is my confirmation, okay? Signal confirmation. And it's very, very important that we understand that just because we get a signal, like this buy signal previously, we don't take it unless we've got the confirmation from the buyer's depth heat map. You see down here, only three out of six were green. And look at the buy signal, just really didn't go anywhere. But once we get the signal and the confirmation, we are good for a good trade. So now what I'm going to do is grab hold of that and just put that down at the trading stop position, modify the order. OK, so now uh, this particular trade is risk, is risk free. Um, we're locking in a tiny little bit of profit. The main thing is I've got nothing at risk here if it comes back against me. And all I need to do now, if I just zoom in a little bit, is just keep uh, adjusting this every time we, we close the candle. 
what I'm going to do is just adjust this down to here and again this is the sort of procedure you've been running uh, drag and drops really brilliant with trading view uh, just pull that down to that pivot there I want to give it plenty of room and see how uh, this trade pans out um, so it's not rocket science then we just changed again so I just adjust my trading stop to that position there modify and then close and that's all we've got to do now the algorithm takes care of the signal you then have the confirmation from the bias step heat map so you know we get a, a type 3 is a trend failure okay it pulls back into the pullback zone and doesn't bounce it fails and this is what the trade we're in right now with US dollar Japanese yen so right now we got the signal we got the confirmation from the bias step heat map we go I was a little late in because uh, it moved quite fast but that was the market order there uh, and got in the main thing is now is just keep adjusting every time we get a candle close adjust in that trailing stop position so there's nothing really to do now uh, if this does really keep going I can in theory look at previous pivots to see if we can um, you know keep that moving uh, nowhere it's some recent lows on this 30 seconds so um, that is a sensible target there so the job is relatively simple now it's just keep adjusting that's all we got to do drag drop modify close just adjust it again drag drop modify close and that's all you got to do so this this is you know it, the, the training stop position is printed by uh, the software the technology so you just got to follow that this can be adjusted by the way this is a reasonably um, I would say conservative um, training stop position you can be more aggressive with that uh, and those settings are in there for the slingshot but right now all I got to do is just keep locking in a little bit of profit uh, forget the amount the right the thing right now is to understand that this is uh, it's a profitable trade and we're following the rules signal from the the type 3 trade in this case uh, confirmation and then as soon as we start to print the trailing stop below our entry we start to adjust that trailing stop um, we look at some previous trades if there are any uh, so this was a VWAP predator sell signal there um, and again another VWAP predator sell signal there um, so this was a type 2 sell on the, um, the slingshot which is a, there's a trading stop really good trade at that point there um, we got some more sell signals of this type 2 sell this is when we'd use the VWAP predator to add to the position uh, there but there was no opportunity in this case um, because we got no VWAP predator signals so this is something you just got to keep an eye on we're way below the VWAP right now uh, and the idea is just to drag in position modify close and that's trading should be that boring when you know signal confirmation lots of fresh air and just then follow the algorithm just do what it says to do so I'm just going to keep doing that but I'm not going to record it uh, I'll come back when something else happens so prices start after it's been basing it's starting to move back up again I'm just going to adjust that slightly uh, so I'm just keeping an eye on this because obviously I just wanted to record if it does take the stop um, the stop out the trading stop I should say to take the profit So I am using high Kanashi 30 second candles. I just like to smooth out the price action a little bit when I'm using the slingshot. Um, just really just smooth it out a little bit enough uh, to understand those pivots, pullbacks and uh, for the algorithm to run that a little bit smoother. I'm just going to adjust that again now. Just took me out. Okay, just took me out. Okay very very simple trade there hopefully that makes sense um, it's just the slingshot for trading view and the buy step heat map for those confirmations so very very simple trade 
just tipped that trailing stop on this candle here uh, and that that's that's us out with the profit taken. Thank <laughs> you.